representing Indian Hills. Okay, we don't want to make any value judgments, but some of the guys from Indian Hills, they said, oh yeah, Aaron Racky. Oh yeah, Aaron Wacky Racky. All right. Aaron Wacky Racky, ready to take off competitor number two. Now, we don't know anything about him. Whether he's been working out in the off season, how long he's been with an apartment, whether he even knows what he's doing, but we'll find out pretty quick because this competition separates the men from the boys. Is he a man or is he a boy? We don't know, but we'll find out in a few short seconds. So again, there are penalties we find out for sort of knocking it over and catching it. If you just hit it and it doesn't knock over, no penalty. If you do knock it over, penalty. If you cut into the paint and everybody behind the plywood knows what I'm talking about, there's a paint border around the outside. And if you cut into it, if you slip, by that time you're pretty, you know what, your hands are shaking. So if he cuts into the paint, that's a big time penalty. And if you think this is easy, you know what? Sign up to be a volunteer fire person and you go through this kind of training in order to train to be in the fire department. Gloves on, boots on, bunker gear on, tank on, mouthpiece, mask, helmet. So yeah, turn on the air, that would help, exactly. Okay, now here's how this works. I know you're a new competitor, correct? No, you did it last year? Okay, so you know how it works. As soon as you give them the heads up, as soon as you touch the high-rise pack, you're ready to go. Aaron Reed, Indian Hills, wet racky. He's off! Okay, quick sprint down there. Chainsaw starting right up. How's he doing with the cut? Now here's the challenge, don't get too close to the paint, but he's a big guy, you gotta get a big enough hole. He went through quickly, easily, climbing up that ladder, through the culvert number one, he's making good time. The time to beat, 201, without any penalties. He's gotta be penalty free, I think this is gonna be a penalty free competition this year. If not, it's gonna be really close, going through. Culver, number two. Come on, Aaron. It's here for Indian Hills. Indian Hills. Come on, Aaron. Coming to you. Culver, number three. The pressure's on. He's a big guy, but he's moving fast. Grab that hose. All right, his weak knees are starting to get a little weak. Knees are starting to shake a little bit. Watch out on the golf course. Watch out. Watch out. Here comes the water. Okay, this is a this is a lot tougher than it looks. Believe me, you gotta set the hose, you gotta hit the cone, you gotta knock the cone off, you gotta aim. Cone is off. You walk through, you go through the chicane. Gotta be careful, not to don't don't worry about squirting people. You need to pick up rescue Randy, dragging the rescue Randy. Pick him up, drag him, then the cure for him. Come on, bring him home, bring him home. Come on, Aaron. Come on, Aaron! Come on, Aaron! Yes! Go! 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 Let me tell you, this is a fast track this year. Let's hear it for Aaron Racky, Indian Hills! Aaron is one of the reasons why last year was just the absolute fastest competition. Ha! How old is he? Okay, Josh looks like he's about 14. Okay, Josh looks like he's about 15. But that's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Evergreen Fire Rescue, Josh Oshkosh by gosh, Burnett! He's getting on the bunker here. 
Okay. Did they, they got the bunker here at the kids' department. He's 14, right? Is he 14? Okay. Yeah. She said, we don't care, he's cute. <laughs> Cougar! Yeah, and? Okay. What? This is Evergreen. Come on. <laughs> okay, Josh is getting ready. He is a first-time competitor. He knows how serious this is. Also, although I did see a smile on his face, so maybe he doesn't know yet. I want to see him smiling about halfway through the third culvert. He's got honest stuff. He's got the bunker gear. He's got the boots. He's got the gloves. He's got the helmet, the bottle, the mask. It's hooked up. How this works, he gives our timekeepers the heads up. And after he does that, the next time he touches the high-rise pack, he can set up the high-rise pack any way he wants. But once he gives us the heads up, the next time he touches the high-rise pack, we're good. The clock starts. Josh Burnett, Evergreen Fire Rescue. Okay, turn on the air. Turn on the air. I gotta get out of the way of the cameras, don't I? Yeah. Turn on the air. Come on, Josh. The timers are ready. He's giving the heads up, and he's starting. Okay, good sprint. Now, will that sprint come back to haunt him and tire him out at the end? The chainsaw started right up. Whoa! Okay, he's got through. He's got through. He's quick to the cover. Quick to cover one. Quick to cover two. He's got to make up some time. All right, he's making unbelievable time. We'll have to check the penalties afterwards. But so far, this is some of the best time, some of the best raw time that we've ever seen. Let's see if he can, let's see if he can hit the cone right off. It's tough, I know, you gotta aim at the cone, it's tough to get there. Gonna adjust the hose, cone over, cone's over, set it down. Going, okay, I guess that's good enough, right? Yeah, whatever, that's okay. Rescue, Randy, give him a drag. He's making unbelievable raw time. Let's hear for Evergreen. Josh, come on, Josh. Give it a pull, Josh. Go, 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 All right, you have to remember, this is his first year in the competition. And sometimes you get more energy with youth. Sometimes you start out too quick because you don't realize how tough it is. That weighs about 600 pounds. Or something like that, I don't know. I have no idea. And so, and so he's looking okay, he's looking okay. Okay, let's hear it one more time for Josh. Josh, Josh, the Josh, Burnett, Evergreen Fire Rescue. Because remember, if you're in your house and it's burning, these are the guys that are coming in after you with all that gear on, and this is the kind of stuff they do for training. These are the guys that are gonna be saving lives. And this is how they train, just stuff like this, not necessarily in a competition, but in their training. So that's what this is all about. So, the raw time, the raw time was a pretty good one, 149.9, however, however, we have penalties. Where the penalties come from? And? Now, did they uh, talk about that at the uh, competitors' meeting? Okay. He went through the cones, but he actually went through the cones incorrectly. He didn't go through the right set of cones. Five-second penalty. Also, 
One nick, one nick with the chainsaw into the paint. That's a big one. That's a 15 cent penalty, 15 second penalty. So cumulative time is cumulative time two minutes nine point nine seconds. Currently in third place. Let me tell you, a couple of years ago, that would have won the competition. That's how tough this competition is. Turned. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to first time competitor. Okay, Jeff seems to be, you know what they're telling me about Jeff? I don't know if any of this is true, and you know, frankly, we don't care. <laughs> they say they say that they call him Sheldon because he's so intelligent. Now my question is, if he's so intelligent, why is he doing this competition? Okay, so he couldn't be too smart if he's doing this competition in front of everybody in 90 degree temperature with... However, he is the first one smart enough to check the chainsaw. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, from Inner Canyon Fire Rescue, Jeff, don't have a cow and I win row, the professor. Okay, Jeff, in fact, first time competitor, correct? Yes, first time competitor. Sometimes that's an advantage because he doesn't know what's in store for him. And he just goes out blind. But sometimes it's a disadvantage because, you know, the older guys, there's a little bit of finesse. I don't know where, but they're that there. So he did start his chainsaw, so that's good. Sometimes the new guys are a little shaky on the chainsaw. They know how important it is to not cut into the paint. So we'll just have to see how this works. Okay, Jeff, the professor from Inner Canyon. He's getting in his bunker here. Again, this is the stuff that they wear when they go into burning buildings looking for you and me if we're stuck in there. So we want all these competitors to have great times because this is their training. Just think, if you're stuck inside that building, we want them to have amazing times to come in and get you and go out again. So we cheer for everybody. Jeff, don't have a cow when I win row. From Inner Canyon, representing Inner Canyon Fire Rescue, let's hear it. Now, is Inner Canyon the people who win the chili competition each year too? Mixed reviews. Okay. Jeff's getting ready. Get the gloves. Get the boots. Get the bunker gear. The tank is on. The mask is on. All right. Let's hope somebody turned the air on. That would be a shot. Again, he gives the timers the high sign. He can rearrange that high-rise pack any way he wants until he gives the high sign. So you can arrange the, that high-rise pack how you want it, but as soon as you give them the high sign, as soon as you touch it, clock starts. Okay. Don't touch it. Go, Jeff. Jeff. He's off! There goes Jeff! A nice, quick, even stride. He's got the chainsaw. Start on first ball, first ball! The question is, is that going to be big enough to get through? He's a big guy. He's got to have the chainsaw off. It's tough to get through, but you can break the plywood. That's okay. He's making good time. He's making good time up that ladder into the first culvert. Let's go, Joe. 
getting some traction in the first concert, make the big swing, the swing through. Whoa! He's practiced this before, I think. Cover number two, swing into third. Gotta watch out for that ladder. That ladder's a tough one. It catches the air tank. He's making fine time. We're looking good now. The knees starting to shake a little bit. The arms starting to shake a little bit. Gotta bring that hose totally filled up with pressurized water all the way down. You not only have to bring the hose down, you have to aim it. You have to knock, knock the cone over. Set the hose. Knock the cone over. It was a quick one. There we go. It's over. He's walking through, walking through in fine shape. So far, I'm not seeing any penalties. It all determined by how quickly he brings rescue Randy down. Come on now. Yes, 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 yes. So either he's a strong competitor or maybe maybe he used up all his energy early. We'll have to see towards the end. If you've never done this competition before, it's a little bit tough to gauge exactly where you need to do your energy. He's looking good. That third cover, let me tell you, that is a tough one. You're towards the end, but you still have the hose filled with pressurized water. You gotta bring the hose down. You have to knock over the cone. Come on, Ryan. Come on, it's here for Ryan. Come on. Good, 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 good. Get it over, get it over, over. Yes, walk through the little chicane there around the cones. Don't knock over any cones. You're good, you're good. Pick up rescue Randy. Drag him. Drag all the skin off his feet. That's okay. Oh, he's going fast. Let's bring him home. Come on, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Come on. Come on. Ryan Swindler. Pratt Canyon. A rescue. Ryan. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Kessler. Okay, another first time competitor. Either that tells you that some of the past competitors just see this competition and they don't dare go against it, or, well, he's just young and naive and he doesn't get it and he just thinks it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be a cakewalk. A 
Okay, now, so what this, basically this is training for the Marines because Ryan is enlisting into the Marine Corps. You think the Marines boot camp is tough? Forget that. They've never done anything like this. They've never done the firefighter challenge. Who do those Marines think they are anyway? I'd like to see them to try to do this. Right? Maybe. Okay, representing Elk Creek. The Elk Creek Fire Rescue, the perpetual big chili chili winners. I must say, but just so, just because they can cook doesn't mean that they have what it takes to go through this thing, right? Maybe they're just all cooks and they can't go through. We'll see. We'll see how he does. Got the helmet. In fact, has Kessler on his helmet. How do you get number four? How do you get number four? What's it do when they get number four? Is this like a bid to get number four? Well, that's a station number, so there's lots of number fours. Well, how do you tell one guy from the other guy? Oh, so you got to read the name? Gotcha. Okay. Well, no, I just need... You know what? Inquiring minds want to know. That's all. We're just curious. We're just very curious here at the Firefighter Challenge. All right, Ryan Kessler. Representing Elk Creek. You know how this works. You get the gloves on, you get the boots, you get the helmet, you get the air, you get the mask. You can rearrange that high-rise pack any way you want. Once you give him the high sign to the guys with the clocks, the next time you touch the high-rise pack, let me point out, Ryan Kessler, the only guy that actually has roadies helping him out, that help him get dressed in the morning. They're like valets. They're personal valets. Oh, what is, he's got to come down and what? Okay, no, that's good. That's good that he's checking it out. He's che okay, either he likes to double check everything or he doesn't trust his valet. This best boy. These are the best boys over here. Second place, one minute.